Fe auli nei mo le kalesia chacho uma. If I would tell you that we belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken. If you look at what's going on around the world, everything is now being shaken. Because I tell you, God is bringing everything to uh, the end. And whether you believe it or not, it's going to happen. And exactly what the word of God says, we are now seeing everything fulfilled right before us. So la tu si le ha kai na mata upo luo fa upo ono le fitu. And God said I will shake the heavens and the earth. The ocean and dry land. I will shake the nations and the traces of all nations. Ba tsa mo le fa sa mo. A wall of a pen fit like my ole li yo au eto tasi eto ititi lava on olulu ina ile ole langi malela langi malesami ato malele ele matutu o telulu ina fo ino uma ona o ma yai leo mea o ma na o mia eno uma o te fatu mu ina fo ile nei fale ile popula o fit like my yai le li yo au I want you to know that God, God said in his word that he will shake everything. He will shake the heavens and the earth. But I'll tell you the reason why he's shaking the heavens and the earth. He's shaking it because man decided that they don't need God. Hallelujah. Lord. Man now says that we do not need God so we can do our own thing. But I want you to know that right now, we are witnessing something very strange happening around the world. I have never seen such a democratic country in the world, America, who is doing what they are doing and it's so weird. And I cannot believe an election that happened about a month ago and they still do not know who is winning. And according to the media, I'm seeing corruption election. And you may ask me, why are you preaching about America? Well, I'm telling you, anything that happens to America will impact the whole world. Because God chose America to bring about the gospel around the world. Because it started in Great Britain. You know the church history that the gospel came to the Pacific Islands because Great Britain was involved in mission. They evangelized most of the nations of the world. And you know, during that time, Great Britain was the country, small country, but they ruled the world. Why? Because they were forefront nation that was so heavily involved in mission, evangelizing the whole entire world. And so God had his hand on Great Britain, hallelujah Lord. And when Great Britain slowly departed and deviated from God, hallelujah Lord, God chose America to bring the evangelization and missions around the world, hallelujah Lord. Right now, the number one sending nation in the world in terms of mission is Brazil. But there was one time South Korea actually took the, the number one spot in missions. But now Brazil is sending more missionaries than any country in the whole entire world. And I want you to know that God is now shaking the nation and he is picking and choosing the people that are making a stand for God. Hallelujah Lord. One thing I am so happy about is I belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Hallelujah, Lord. So God is shaking America. Shaking politics. Hallelujah, Lord. He's shaking the church. Hallelujah, Lord. If you look around in America, some weird things are now happening. Gay people are now pastoring churches and they are accepting it. 
And, 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 and I tell you, God is now shaking things in America. God chose Trump and put Trump there. And look at all the demons from hell came. I watch, I watch the news every day. And I don't watch the news because I want to be a nosy paka. No, I'm not. I want to know. I see the news and I begin to see what's happening around the world. And I go back to the Bible and I read the Bible and I begin to see what God is doing. Hallelujah, Lord. If you are wide awake, you should know what's happening around and then read the Bible and see what's going on. Very short. Don't muck around with your life. God said, the return of the Lord Jesus is coming at the time when you're not thinking about it. So if you end up in hell, it's not my fault. I've already told you. I've already told you. Hallelujah, Lord. So God is now shaking the church in America. Because they're they they are not like Trump who are... Uh, who is speaking his mind, who is coming out and confronting things that need confronting. Come on, Jay, Joe, Joe. Yeah. We may be small in size, but we can make an impact, man. Hallelujah, Lord. So God is shaking things around. God is shaking kingdoms. Hallelujah, Lord. And he is shaking the economy of the world. Hallelujah, Lord. One gone with infection, had completely making many economies collapse. And if you look around the world now, the, I, I think many countries and almost all the countries are struggling now. Hallelujah, Lord. No, virtually, all the world is going to be a good one. All the world is going to be a good one. All the world is going uh, uh, you could hardly get any, any, any uh, good from overseas coming to New Zealand or, 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 or around the world. Hallelujah, Lord. I saw on the news a passenger plane turned into a cackle plane. Because they had to use planes. So they manufactured the planes and the planes are standing there because you're not allowed to go to any country. God is shaking the world. Hallelujah, Lord. But you know, I'm confident because I belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken by anything. God is shaking the confidence of man in themselves. Hallelujah, Lord. Mankind say, we do not need God. We can hack life by ourselves. Hallelujah, Lord. Salam wa sumal fafa yubmamua. The fool say in his heart, there is no God. Morkan kabalea. Fue may elesia kua. Hallelujah, Lord. Ay, vay liang wango kanka fefe vay lo say leo shaloku. They don't, they don't go to church. Hallelujah, Lord. Because they say to themselves that we do not need God, that there is no God. Hallelujah, Lord. And if you don't watch out, hallelujah, Lord, God is shaking things in the world. And if you happen to be in a shaking, hallelujah, Lord, amen. Have you ever been in, a, in an earthquake like the one that hit Christchurch? Yeah? Well, imagine when God is shaking the whole world and an earthquake hit the country. Go on New Zealand, hallelujah, Lord. He can sink the whole country down. Hallelujah, Lord. <clears throat> so church, we belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Hebrew 12, 26. Orona si fonga na lulu ina ile la rangi iyo na po. Awa fola fola mai ina iyo. Uwa fa ape a mai. E to etasi yo na o lulu ina. Ele na o le la lo langi. Ae a to a fo ima le langi. E pe wa su lulu fo. Yes. 
I'm looking for that verse since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable. Let us be thankful and please God by worshiping him with holy fear. Hebrew 12. Miss quote line me That's okay. Then to your neighbor and say neighbor. The pastor is old. We belong to a kingdom. I'm looking for that verse. We belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Ole nei, wa mawe ta to le malo le ma fayo na lulu ina. Ia ta to fa afta yai ta to te au na ile tu ma le mingao, ma le matau ia fia fia ma yai o ia. So it's verse 28. <clears throat> so ba fa mai. We are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable. Let us be thankful and please God by worshiping. Hallelujah, Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, what I told my way in my law, Ele Lulu in a semea. Ole my law, Ele semea, my fire on a Lulu in. And I'm thankful to God that I belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Turn to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, you must belong to the kingdom that cannot be shaken. Well, if you don't believe what I'm saying, I tell you one day, you will know. Hallelujah, Lord. But my child, just by ever my Olo over Tato, Mawa Nail, my law, Ele, Maluluina, or the Malola, Ele, my fire, say, say, Ami, Ele, my fire, say, to no one, a year, Luluina. Hallelujah, Lord. Right now, I want you to know that in the Middle East, it's the center of attention right now. I give up a pair, my and I make a farm cala, my amia. They look from cala, who may yet come with a young pair at two. Hallelujah, Lord. And because you know, uh, O mea, um, my cupu lalang, you will lay my cow, my yea, cua yaka home. Cut me falling, eh? Of a mile at two, I ye so so my cocon with my law there. I want my law there, or the malo there to a song of my yank. Now, I'll tell you, Natalia, I am a fat or two. I don't know what far. Now, you are about to eat them and we are to wait out of far now. We are to all the malolia. Eleva peck a fuck of our uncle. Oh, yes, so what I call my lawyer. Puma may call my lawyer. They are eleva pena. Yes, if I find all the malolia. All the malolia, all the malolia, and off I can't come up here, can't come up here, will all lay on an eye, a cup of valley. Ole malole ye kanga ka kasi la ko kai ko lua ele kai lua ole malole ye kanga ka ele muli lua ele fai kanga Ata lo fo ele o nepa ma vai nepa ole malole kalongo ma yel fai fiao ole malole aku Then you nepa say nepa The kingdom that pastor is talking about is the kingdom of God Ole malola le le fa pe ka fa fa ale a fa pe ka fa fa ai o ka fa fa ke o e sang kong ole malola le yo le malola ke kalia ye su e fa i mali ma fa ole lo wola nga ma e ngofo fa le le ma fa i fa le le lo wola nga Amen Ole te talo le a ye su na fa i fa mal te talo ye su Thy kingdom come. So he told his disciples, uh, uh, when you pray, you pray like this. Your kingdom come. Meaning that God was calling the kingdom of God to come down here on earth. So what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is a spiritual realm over which God reigns as king. The kingdom of God is a spiritual realm. It's a spiritual realm 
over which God reigned as king. Ole malolia, ole vaenga fali anganga, olo oyai Yesu kewiso oyale ole tupu. Oawa onga Yesu malitele ona onga. Eta uwa ilava Yesu ule malolia tuwa. The kingdom is a primary central theme of Jesus' teaching. And God is calling people into the kingdom. Hallelujah. So, etoluna meaia lautala noa to et oe. Ile kale siel taeolene. There are three things about the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Number one, the rule of Christ as king. Number one, the rule of Christ as the king. Hallelujah. Now, the rule of Christ is justice for all. There is no injustice. Hallelujah. His love manifests in his kingdom. The love of God. Hallelujah. Now, the love of God, Isaiah 53, verse 3 to 5. Isaiah described this love. It's called the action love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know why you want to belong to any other kingdom when the kingdom of God, God is offering love. And I mean love. It's not Philios, it's not Stoke. It's not eros. It is the akape love of God. Hallelujah, Lord. So Isaiah described this love. Yes. 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 Is there any kingdom in the world where you have a king like this? Come on, Jay. I'm talking to people. I'm talking to you. Is there any kingdom in the world that you have a king like this? A king who died for you. Yeah? Hallelujah, Lord. A king for five more my he was despised. A king that was despised. For your sake. Born our griefs. He took our griefs upon himself. He carried our sorrows. Hallelujah Lord. He was wounded for our transgression. Hallelujah Lord. I have never seen a king. Who did that for the people. So the kingdom of God. The king came down and suffered for you. There is no kingdom like that. You have never seen Queen Elizabeth came down. And crucify for Great Britain. The king that we know is the king that sits on the throne and the people serve them. They get the best money, the best house. But the kingdom of God, who is the king, the king is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. He came down and he went on the cross and he suffered. For your sake. For his stripes, you are healed. You, I can never, I can, you can never find that anywhere in the world. Isaiah 52, verse 14. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. He did not look like a man. He was so disfigured beyond human mind. But he was the king who came down on your behalf. Hallelujah. And he did everything to, to forgive your sins. 
Hallelujah. What an amazing king. Come on, people. Have a party, multi. You have never seen any kingdom who was a king who came down and suffered for the people. Hallelujah, Lord. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, for whosoever believe in him shall never perish, but have eternal life. Have you ever had a king who came down and say he so loved the world and he decided to die? You know what? The punishment that you were supposed to receive, you were made walk free and Jesus had to carry all the sins of the world. Did you ever find any king like that in the world? Have you ever been to any country and find a king who came down uh, on the behalf of the people and suffer for the people. All the, all the kings that I know now are the kings that sit on the throne and the people serve them. Would you want to belong to this kingdom? Would you want to belong to this kingdom, church? Am I talking to people? Would you want to belong to this kingdom? Would you want to belong to this kingdom? You should be excited, hallelujah, Lord. You cannot find that kingdom anywhere in the world. Hallelujah, Lord. Ephesians 2, verse 6. Wana toi fatu tu fatasi mai fo in fat no fo fatasi ta to makeriso yesu imea oli langi. Amen. So wa fong malako. You know the king of the kingdom of God? He doesn't look down on people. He looks sideways. I'm like, wana no fo tu pu fatasi ila to oia ma tato. So he sits, you're sitting next to him and he looks at you sideways on the same level. But the kings of the world look down like this to people. But King Jesus looks sideways. We are equal. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated with him in the heavenly places. So Jesus sitting in the heavenly places with us. I don't know if you understand me. You don't look like you understand what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Jesus, the king, sits together with us. You understand that? Yes. Or, or you want me to speak to you Chinese? You understand Jesus sits with the people? The, king, the kings of the world look down like this to people? King Jesus looks sideways? Don't Okay, Whatever <laughs> I don't look down on you, I look sideways. Amen. His mercy and his grace. His attitude towards his people. He understands the weaknesses of the people. 
And he tells the people to come in to receive mercy and find grace. You never had a king in the world of any country or any kingdom, hallelujah, Lord, who will say to you, I understand your weaknesses. I know the kings of the world will condemn you for your wrongdoings, hallelujah, Lord, and he will probably execute you. But the king of the kingdom of God will say, I understand your weaknesses. You are welcoming to receive mercy. I will give you mercy and I will give you grace. Why don't you want to belong to this kingdom? Hallelujah, Lord. In the kingdom of God, you find mercy and you find grace. Number three, the kingdom of God, you'll find favor, goodness, and kindness. In the kingdom of God, there is justice for all. I am thankful I belong to this wonderful kingdom. Hallelujah. In the kingdom of God, you'll find the blessing and advantages. Amen. The blessing and advantages that flow from living under the rule of this king. Amen. His name is Jesus. Amen. He gives you eternal life. Amen. When you come into the kingdom, he will give you eternal life. He will say, I will give you eternal life, meaning that you are not going to finish at the grave, hallelujah, Lord. That beyond the grave, you will live forever in the kingdom, hallelujah, Lord. Okay, we go here, John 3, 16. Oh, yo, long, I'm going to go there. I want to hear from you, my dear. 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 So, you come into the kingdom, you will be made righteous by the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. What an amazing thing. I'm not righteous, but when I come into the kingdom, I'm called righteous man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. The gift of life. In the kingdom of God, you'll have the gift of life. Hallelujah, Lord. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are here today. I wonder why. <laughs> you know what? You went to bed last night and you closed your eyes and gone to sleep. But you're lucky to wake up alive. It's called the gift of life. Amen. You could have gone into your sleep and never wake up. And there were many people that, have, that went into their sleep and they never woke up. The fact that I woke up this morning, I thank God I got a gift of life, man. You should be 
gift of life, man, you find it in the kingdom of God. When you come into the kingdom of God, God gives you the gift of life. What about healing and restoration? Hallelujah, Lord. Look at Father, you pursue values from Malaysia. You come into the kingdom. Here's what the Lord will do to you. Hallelujah, Lord. Wah, yo, lumba le yang anggau le ring. Ya. Wana faham mai ya cakap we follow follow le talal le. Yes. Ye matiwa. Yes. Wah, we nama mai ya we iya faham malolol ye lotom mamo. Yes. Faham malolol le kau mamo ke cakap le kau ngan malolol le kau faham malolol le kau mamo mamo. Itar. Wah, le kau mamo asal le kau lokor ngan ilal lolangi. Itar lah isah lo tonga ye ilitafianga. Wah, ye pula mata we ta waso. Wah, ye release of those that are captive. Itu sah lotto ye fasa wine. Itu ala ilet tau sanga. Ia dah. Abu pulak makko kang kau waso kala imal kau sanga fa pengang fa sah lo koi ngai kau. Ekele mau esesi lama malo ngaku kong wal malo le aku ke mau wai meia. Alleluia. What about deliverance? Man, I tell you what. We we were once had so many demons in us. And some of us are still carrying some demons. That's why we all need deliverance. Hallelujah, Lord. Our ear learner, na ear fa pe na na, ona ave eseke mongi ma maya kakou le pule ma fa ye ona tato tu tuli te moni. Hallelujah, Lord. What an amazing thing to have the authority over demons. Hallelujah, Lord. Pe o isi kanga ka a oso ma yiku ngao lo la ear le va ear le le fo fo fa kau la iku ear ngape pe lo ear la ear le all. Pepe, lo pepe, lo lefa kau lai ku, lo kunga le mea na vai kolu le ase ke mongi walu ese. Ale wa maye yesu le pule a tatou ka kokele ko yo, fio me le wa fio nga, sa ma yafe. Ale wa ya te tatou le pule wa kwe, swa fo yesu ke wiso, alu fa fo, alu ese. Eke ma wa ki kongo le ma lo le a, le ma lo le a kuwa le a. So you could have the authority over demons so you can control the demonic world. Can I move this in my power? I'm a lawyer. My wife. My lawyer for my little little wing. I said, Hallelujah. What about the resurrection? You will find it in the kingdom of God. All the people that are in the kingdom of God. We are resurrected one day. Hallelujah. Death is not the end of you. If you belong to this kingdom, that grave is not the end of you. It is the transition from this life to the next life that you will enjoy living together with the Lord. Kele mau sekoi ku sesi ya malo, alleluia lo. Eh, alu malo perkangi, kele mau sekoi ku alu malo Amerika, le koi mau alu malo Samoa, le koi mau sekoi ku Haiti ni kau berle mau sekoi ku. Saya le malo le aku aje koi ku beraiyoki. Alleluia lo. What about divine protection? In the kingdom of God, you are protected. Alleluia lo. Allah fa penan de pui pui aoi, ya pulon de tau pun mau fa upes follow. Wah elasi si omia ya le au pa oi malona fale atau mana mea umma itu umma wah efa manuian ngalue ngau nalima wah efa teleina fok ia nama manuil fonua. Fok mela oleh malol ya kua eh si omia ya kua hallelujah eh ini mereka divine hedge so God and the kingdom of God he puts a divine protection around the people that belong to the kingdom hallelujah Lord. The angels of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. So those that are in the kingdom of God, the angels of God are surrounding them. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and wave to the angels. They are surrounding us. The reason why you don't put up your hand is because you don't believe me. Put up your hand and say, angels around us. You know, I strongly believe in this. I will get up in the morning and I will pray like this. Lord, would you please put seven big angels around my home? 
We don't see the angels, but there are ministering angels around. Hallelujah, Lord. Because the Bible tells me that the angels of God surround his people. So in the kingdom, you have angels that surround you, that protect you. We had about two or three near miss. I mean, uh, I turned the guy in, and this guy just came behind us and overtook us. And, poof, and I think about that much. It was almost a hit. And then there was, were several times that I nearly missed an accident, and a really bad one. So I have decided that my only secure security is the blood of Jesus and the angels of God. Amen. So I will, I will get, I literally do this. I will get up in the morning and I will cover, I will call the names of my children and my grandchildren before the throne of grace. Amen. And I mention their name and I ask God to cover them with the blood. And please station the angels around them, in the car, in the home, everywhere they go. In the morning, at night, in the morning, at night, in the morning, at night, in the morning, because I know that the only secure security for me and my family is the blood of Jesus and the angels of God. Because I tell you what, make no mistake that anything can happen at any time. You should practice that. You should do it. You should get up in the morning and at night you say, thank you, Lord, for the blood and the angels. Please protect them again. You wake up in the morning, you do that. You go to bed at night, you do that. All you have to do is lift up your hands, get on your knees and, and call out the name of Jesus. That in the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, Lord. And you know the angels of the kingdom of God will move into action. Hallelujah, Lord. What about the provision? In the kingdom of God, he provides. And his name is Jehovah Chira. Philippians 4.19. Yes. 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 In the kingdom of God, here's what you get. God will supply all your needs. Hallelujah, Lord. And you may say, well, you know, I've been praying for this need and it hasn't come. Hallelujah, Lord. Well, just maybe the Lord doesn't think that you need it. Or at least the Bible says, keep on asking. If you don't get, keep on asking. Hallelujah. The time will, the day will come that the Lord will give it to you. But my Bible tells me that the king of this kingdom supply all the needs. And just maybe you need to differentiate from your wants. So the provision earlier, I tell you all, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Hallelujah. In the kingdom of God, the Lord is the shepherd, not a man. Hallelujah, Lord. And lastly, the subjects of the kingdom of God. The subjects, when I say the subjects of the kingdom of God, are the people, the church. He gave us the mandate of the great commission. Hallelujah, Lord. But there's a, there's a part of Matthew, uh, Mark uh, 16, 13 to 20. Yeah. Yeah. Wafa <laughs> 
Moni muri atu fo inei fa ilonga ie fa atu atua e tu tuli e auto te moni lo wingo e tau tala tala ila tau nganga na fo e fe tanga fo ila tau ingata a fa fo ila tau te inu se meo ti ai la tau te le a fa ina ilava e fa e atu fo iola tau lima ilunga o e mamai ma fa malo lo ina ila tau. Afonga la tau ime mau el malo le malo le le akua ko es ko esau ko la kul fa iu pasu fi kuva moli. E moni muri atu fo inei fa ilonga ie fa atu atua. E tu tuli ila tau te moni lo ingo. If you are in the kingdom of God, this is what happened to you. The miracle and signs will follow you everywhere you go. Hallelujah, Lord. You will be able to cast out demons in the name of the Lord. You will also speak in a new language. But why you going to pick a fickle malolia? Hallelujah, Lord. Makaukia, salva you pursue malvalu ya. If it's an ofila to ingata, if I fulfill to tei nu se mei o tiai, la to tei le a fai na ilava. E fa e atu fo iola tu lima ilunga o e ma mai ma fa ma lolo ina ilato. Ma mai e fikango fila ko inga ka ya uwe la ki alu oile suwe alu fa pesu kong kong ala maka pesa alu pesu na alu mai ala kufa vale vale ya alu mai ala fa mai la fiang pa ila tu apa ya seme fa penga kupu ya yo inga ka kile ya fa ingai. The survivor tells me that you handle snake with safety and if you drink anything poisonous, alleluia Lord, you will not be affected by it. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah, Lord. Ole wio male pepo so le tuwe tu tono le malole it must be done. Ele pule oye le malole ke le pule ay, Hallelujah, Lord. Ele pule oye lo loko e pule le aku e le loko, Hallelujah, Lord. Pa wala nga le me kawo nga e malo malo mai fa niula ne pa fa e pule le aku e le loko iku kongo le malo. Aya fa i ke pule oye lo loko male me ke fi alu ay masalo la ke lo iku kongo le malo pe nga ke fi sa u le malo ke manga o pe nga fi ke le malo ke le manga o mo mo o ma ka fa yo yo le malo le. Avonga to tono le malo le o kanga ka ye kalongo ila fiang pa ila tu fa mai and I will walk among you le leviti ko lu sumla no tu malua I will walk among you and you will be. I will be your God, who is God, and you shall be my people. I saw Kongo Malole. If you saw Mama, my pa Alava Mol Moli Kongo Mako Malole. If you saw Mama, my love for Kanga Kwa Le Kongo Malole or Yakua. Le ya if you saw Kongo Malole. E kile sau mo se fa kangaka, e kile sau mo se kupu e kongo le malole, e kile sau la vanga o e sau e su la ngale manga biya e le fa kangai kongo le malone kapo inga ese. Because some people walk into the kingdom, they think that they can bring their own god into the kingdom. Pa vanga mai, the Bible says, I will walk among you. God will be the god of the people in this kingdom. Hallelujah, Lord. Church, I don't know about you, but I, I have made up my mind. I want to belong to this kingdom. I've given my life and my heart to this kingdom. Because in this kingdom, I find love. I find mercy, grace, favor, goodness, kindness, deliverance, healing, restoration, protection, peace, provision, uh, Resurrection and everything that you can think of, Hallelujah, Lord. You find that in this kingdom. I don't know why you are sleeping when I'm trying to explain the most amazing, wonderful blessing of this kingdom. If I were you, I would bulge out my eyes and receive it. Because I tell you, you need to know this information about this wonderful kingdom. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen, church? Amen. It's worthwhile saving this kingdom. It's worthwhile. It's worthwhile giving your life to this kingdom. So I'm going to stop there. We're going to continue on the message on the kingdom tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. I want to ask you this morning whether you belong to this kingdom or whether you are thinking about belonging to this kingdom. Or you have already put your one foot outside the kingdom and one foot inside. Thinking that just maybe one foot inside will save you. 
Well, I want to tell you that the kingdom of God's commandment is that you must come into the kingdom whole of your body and everything pertaining you. Because I tell you what, God is now gathering his people into the kingdom. He is now bringing the people into the kingdom. Because the day will come when, when he will gather the people in the kingdom and those that do not belong to the kingdom will be cast out to where the crunching of teeth and where the fire burning forever. Church, I want you to stand on your feet. 